Breaking news now. Two people hurt, and the driver is now on the run after a car slams into a restaurant in Queens. CBS News' Diane Macedo joins us live from the scene in Queens Village. Diane. Chris and Mary, we just learned that the two victims in this case are both men in their 20s, and they both suffered broken legs they're being treated for right now. You can still see the boarded up area where the car plowed right into that restaurant just after hitting those pedestrians. Police say it happened a little bit after midnight that the car jumped the curb, smashed right into the side of the building and hit those two men. Now video shows at least half the car is still stuck inside the building, but you might also notice the driver's side door is open. Police say the driver actually then took off on foot. They are still searching for that person. In the meantime, we've talked to people from this area who say it's all really scary because this area is not only known for vehicle traffic, but foot traffic. They say it could all happen to them and especially worried that this person's still on the loose. Now they should take responsibility for what they have done and should stay in this scene until the cops get here and take responsibility because there's life at stake there and it could happen to anybody. The so police are still investigating the cause of the tr crash and, of course, trying to figure out who was behind the wheel and find that person. The victims are being treated at Long Island Jewish Medical Center. Again, both have broken legs, but other than that, it sounds like they're expected to make a full recovery. Live in Queens Village, Diane Macedo, CBS 2 News. Diane, thank you.